Welcome back, Nail Queens. I know this is a completely different view than what you're used to, but today, whew, this is a heifer of an unboxing because normally I would like unbox it on my table, but there's so much stuff in this box. It is a massive box, the size of like my upper half of my body, like from SNS Nails. So they sent out a lot of stuff over the holiday season, and I honestly didn't have time to go through the box because. <sighs> holidays, trying to spend time with my family, trying to focus on my family. We went on vacation several times. So anyways, time to unbox all the things that came in this package. So much bubble wrap. <laughs> I'm glad that they used all that bubble wrap though because it protected all of the contents inside the box. As you can tell, there's a lot in here. Anyways, so SNS sent out all these things. This is a towel, marble nails, instant marbling product kit it's designed to be used with dip powder so you don't need gel with it so I'm really interested to see how this works and I think I'm gonna do the first video on this cotton balls a cuticle oil this is foil and aluminum for soaking off removal soak off solution so it must be acetone I think so it comes in a little purple bottle so all these things are for removal so that's good they have like a little removal um, they also have a cuticle pusher. Ooh, that's a nice looking cuticle pusher. A file and a buffer in here, so that's nice. I'm going to use that for the mani that I do. French manicure kit. I've never done a French manicure on my channel, so maybe it's time to actually do it. So it comes with a soft pink, a white, and a build base powder, plus file buffer and your dip liquid system. So that is neat. So there's six colors here, and these are actually really great for spring. Um, Emerald Temple, so it's like a little light green. Sorry if it's washed out. This is a purple. You know how I feel about purples already. It's called Vegas Baby. Roseate Spoonbill. Don't know. That's like a light pink of some sort. Power Pink. Yes. Hot Pink. Yes. Negril. Negril. Not sure how that said. It looks like a red. Probably perfect for Valentine's Day. And this one's called Hatteras. So that's like a peachy color. Coral peachy color. So this is everything they sent over. That is a lot to review. I love the variety in the package that they sent. So thank you SNS for sending this over. I'm really excited. Like you just gave me everything I needed from prep to removal. So that's really cool. Really neat. I like it when brands do that. So I'm going to work on a Manny set. This was the unboxing part of the video. I'll work on a Manny and then we can get into having fun. Okay, so to get started, I definitely want to incorporate the Dolo marble nails in my Manny today. But to foreshadow for anyone who is interested, it doesn't go too well. So you get to watch me fail, that's for sure. And the color that I chose for the background is the classic white dip powder. This came in the French dipping kit, so I opened that up and pulled this one out. I figured if I wanted to do a marble, it would probably be best to do it over a white background. So that's why I pulled this one out and I'm not using any of the other six colors that they sent. I'm going to use the other end of the cuticle pusher to give the dip powder a stir. The reason why I chose to do this, I normally don't, but I chose to do it because white powders in my experience tend to be more dense and chalky, so giving it a little stir will fluff it up and make it easier to work with. So the first dip is an absolute perfection and I didn't expect it to be most of the time it does look like this with any dip powder that I use. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat this process on all five fingers. I'm literally going to dip in all white on all my fingers twice.
So this is what all of the fingers look like after they've dipped once in the white powder. I'm gonna dust everything off once it dries, and I know I didn't show this earlier, but the liquids I'm using are the SNS dip liquids. I am using their liquids with this kit. And so far, so good. I do like them. I do like the brush and the fluid, like the liquid. So far, I'm liking it. So this is what everything looks like after two completed dips. I like it. Everything looks smooth for the most part. Nothing a file on a buffing block can't help, can't fix. So I'm going to dust everything off and then I'm going to have to get into the activator, filing, shaping, and buffing. I noticed I never spoke about my shape right now, so I have almond shape jelly tips on my nails right now. I tried out the painted desert jelly tips, and I really like them. So I'm going to do a video on that. I actually already have recorded the footage. I just have to edit it. It's been a busy past couple of weeks. We went on a little mini vacation. It was my fiance's birthday, plus everything in between. It's been very, very busy with work and life, so... This video is going to cover filing, shaping, and buffing of this manicure. However, I did recently release a video of my filing, shaping, and buffing routine where I literally talk about it in detail. It's real time. It's not fast forwarded. So everything is broken down into detail and I give you an explanation for each thing that I do. So if you guys are interested in seeing that filing, shaping, and buffing routine, I'll have it linked in the description box below. This shape is very new to me. I've worn almond shape before in the past in late 2020 and early 2021, but I went back to tapered square and like a very short coffin. So it's kind of, the filing, shaping, and buffing is about the same. The only thing that is different is like trying to get an almond shape in my opinion and like maintaining the almond shape after you dip because dip bulks up the nail is a little tricky. So you just have to play with it and make sure it looks symmetrical on both sides. So what I'm doing in this video is I'm like buffing and then you'll see me sometimes grab my hand file and like fix the almond shape a little if it looks a little wonky after I buffed and I'm like, hmm, that needs a little cleaning up there on the side. So I'll do that with my hand file. And then also when I dip, sometimes dip powder gets stuck underneath the edge of my nail. So that's also why I'm going underneath my nail. You'll see me just try to get rid of any excess powder. And I'm taking the hand file and just running it around my cuticle edge as well to make sure that's nice and fine tuned. I personally don't recommend using a brand new file around your cuticles unless you season the file. So if you have a, um, what's it called, an ergo file from Bonafide Beauty, that's something I'd recommend you use instead to go around the cuticle line.
And this is the Ergo file I was just referring to. I have this one in pink as well, but I like to take the glass file and run it around my cuticles because it's ultra gentle, it's incredible, and I highly recommend any glass file of the shape for carving out your cuticle line. So one of my kind of favorite, oddly satisfying parts of doing a manicure is when I take this glass cuticle stick and I try to carve out any dip powder that is not on the nail, obviously, but it's like hanging out in the cracks and crevices of my nail. I use the pointy edge to clean it all out as you are watching, literally. It's, it's gross to me, but it's also oddly satisfying. Has anybody ever watched Dr. Pimple Popper? on, what was it? Was she on Snapchat when she first came out? I don't remember, but I was like obsessed with watching those videos. This is like the vibe it gives me. It's like, ugh, it's too gross to look away. Welcome to the shit show, y'all. I'm excited to show you how I fail at this. I, and it's not a failure of the products because you will see that the products clearly work. It works as designed. The only problem is apparently I can't mix and match colors. So I am taking the reddish color, the marble, yeah. And see, it works perfectly fine. It's starting to like diffuse and marble out and everything, but... I didn't want my nails to look like period blood, so I was like, ooh, let me throw some white in this. You know, I have a white background. Adding white did literally nothing for it except for make it look like a strawberry smoothie. So I was like, mm, I'm not really feeling this over a white background. Maybe I should try a different color. So I'm gonna do it on my ring finger and I'm like, maybe I should pull out the black marble ink and try that out, you know? So everything starts to look good. It looks really interesting. I'm very amused by this product and how you can marble over the dip powder without using a gel product. But then I decided to incorporate the red. Why am I obsessed with this red? I do not know. But I was like, let me throw some red in there. No, just no. Just listen to me and don't do it. Don't put the black and then the red and then put some more of this fluid on top. I don't, I don't know what I was doing, but it was a hot mess everywhere. So I threw in more red, <laughs> like if that was gonna solve it. Also, I'm not sure if this means anything because I'm certain that you need like a very specific ratio of this liquid, like the ingredients, but the clear fluid that I just put on my nails not only smells just like dip base, it has the same ingredients as the SNS dip powder base. So I don't know if that means anything to you, but I thought it was interesting that it's the same liquid per se that we use for dip base. Hmm. By now it should be no surprise to you that I'm removing all of this because I just didn't like how it all looked. Maybe it was the white dip powder base. Maybe it's the new shape for me because I'm not really into this shape right now. It's gonna take time to adjust to the new shape, but I'm just taking rubbing alcohol and I'm trying to wipe everything off. It worked pretty well on my thumb, but not so well on the other two fingers. So I'm just gonna pull out a buffing block and buff this all off. So I'm gonna do this finger here for y'all to see. It's pretty easy to buff it off, but I'm not gonna do the other two on camera or else we're gonna be here all day. So I'll do the other two off camera. And now I'm going to top coat. So I'm using the SNS dip powder top coat on this. I'm interested to see if it dries fast or it dries slow. I did apply activator before this, by the way. It's important to always have activator prior to your top coat. So I applied activator and then wiped my nails off with rubbing alcohol and a lint-free wipe because that's what I always do before my top coat. So now I'm applying top coat on all five fingers and then I'm gonna reapply it for a second time again on all five fingers. And this is the liquid layers hand rest that I'm using. I felt like I just needed to stabilize my hand a little better so I had it right here and I decided to pull it out. I'm really liking the hand rest and I just switch between the hand rest and the four finger, is it four finger? Yeah, the four finger rest and the single finger rest, really depending on what I'm doing. So 
This is the Manny. I'm trying to stabilize my hand while the dip powder top coat dries, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to apply a little bit of cuticle oil. This is the Candy Skincare Cuticle Oil. I really, really love her cuticle oil. It's very rich, it's very luscious, and they have incredible scents. I'm going to rub that into my skin because you should always hydrate your skin. And yeah, that is the end of this simple Manny. You guys got to see a little destructive, like, fail and this is what I ended up with so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye